we are going to find the Taylor polynomial with degree 3 for the solution to this differential equation. And you see, when we are trying to find the third degree Taylor polynomial, we have to get the third derivative. That's it. No more, no less. All right? We have the first derivative here already. And this is y of 0 is equal to 0. That means when x is equal to 0, y will be 0. And we will find the Taylor polynomial centered at 0, right? Because x is equal to 0. And now, this is the first derivative. And you know we have to do two more, right? This is not the form that we like to differentiate. Let me write this as y prime to be parentheses x plus y plus 1 and raised to the negative 1 power. And now I can plug in 0 into x, 0 into y. So you see this is going to be 0 plus 0 plus 1 raised to the negative 1 power. And this is 1 to the negative 1 power, which is 1 over 1, right? So it's still 1. Next, we need to get the second derivative. So differentiate the first, we get the second. So we see y double prime. This is going to be right here, of course, do the usual business. Bring the power to the front, minus 1, and we have negative. Inside stays the same, x plus y plus 1. And this is negative 2 power. And now we have to multiply by the derivative inside. Derivative x is 1, and we add it with the derivative y. y is a function of x, so that will give us y prime. And derivative 1 is 0, so that's it. This is the second derivative, right? And we will have to plug in 0 into x, 0 into y, and this 1 into y prime, okay? So what do we have? Let's see. Negative in the front, parentheses, and then 0 plus 0 plus 1, and then to the negative 2 power, and we multiply this by 1 plus this 1. Let me just write it down like this. Okay, this is negative. This is pretty much just 1 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 1 square. Anyway, this is just 1. And this is 2. Altogether, it's negative 2, right? All right, one more to go. y triple prime. This and that, it's a product of two things. So we have to use the product rule. And the first thing I want to use is, let's go ahead and keep the first function, which is negative parentheses x plus y plus 1 raised to the negative 2 power. And then we'll differentiate the second. The derivative of this is just going to be, well, derivative 1 is 0. Derivative of y prime is going to be y double prime, right? And now, I will add it with, I will keep the second function, then let me just write it down in black, which is 1 plus y prime. And we multiply by the derivative of the first. Bring the negative 2 to the front, negative 2 times negative becomes positive 2, right? And let me write this down. Better for you guys in red. Multiply by 2. And we have this. x plus y plus 1. And subtract the 1 from the exponent, so we have negative 3. Right? Bring the negative 2 to the front. Inside stays the same. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. One more to go. Because we have to multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of x plus y plus 1 is 1 plus y prime, like this. Okay, uh, plugging values now, uh, I will set up all the work for you guys, all right? This is negative and then 0 for x, 0 for y plus 1 to the negative 2 times y double prime is negative 2. So I'll put this down for negative 2. And we add it with 1 plus y prime, which is this 1, so we have 1 plus 1, and then times this 2 times 0 plus 0, right, and then plus 1 raised to the negative 3 power, and 1 plus y prime is once again 1, like that. I check this out. This is just 1, pretty much. Negative, negative 2 is just 2. And then we add it with, this is 2 times another 2. This is 1. <laughs> and this is 2. So let me just write it down. This is 2 times this 2, right? 2 times this 2, and this is 1, and then this is 2. So anyway, this is 2 times, this is 2 plus 2 times 2 times 1 times 2, this is 8, it's plus that is 10. Yeah, just do the math. Alright, P is 3, alright? 
This little three right here indicates the degree of the Taylor polynomial. And now I can just put on everything for you guys. Don't forget to write down the constant term. Technically, I will have to write down a zero, but it will disappear later on. And then next, we will add it with, this is the first derivative, which is one. I'll put on one, and I will divide it by one factorial, and then multiply by x to the first power, like that. Next, we add it with the second derivative, which is negative two. So I put on negative two right here. And then divide it by two factorial, and multiply by x to the second power. And lastly, plus the third derivative is 10. So we put on 10 right here over 3 factorial, and this is x to the third power. As you can see, we have x to the third power here. That's why it's third degree. All right, zero doesn't really matter. This is just one, and then we have x to the first power, just x, right? Negative 2, 2 factorial is also 2, so this is going to be negative 1, which is the same as you know, negative 1 times x squared. x minus x squared, like that. Lastly, this is 10. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 10 over 6 is 5 over uh, 3, right? So we add it with 5 over 3. <laughs> And then x to the third power. That's it. Box the answer right here. This is pretty fun. That's it.